Hey. The topic I am going to discuss is antidotes and its clinical applications. Antidotes. An antidote is a substance used to counteract the effects of a poison or toxic substance. It is used in emergency and clinical settings to prevent or decrease the severity of symptoms and increase the chances of survival. Mechanism of Action Antidotes work by different mechanisms of action depending on the toxic substance involved. Here are the different mechanisms of action of some commonly used antidotes. Chelation Chelation involves binding to the toxic substance and forming a complex that can be easily excreted from the body. Examples of chelating agents include Dimercaprol Used to treat heavy metal poisoning such as lead or mercury poisoning. Defiroxamine Used to treat iron overload. Calcium disodium editate Used to treat lead poisoning. Receptor antagonism Receptor antagonists work by binding to the same receptor as the toxic substance and preventing it from exerting its toxic effects. Examples of receptor antagonists include Naloxone Used to treat opioid overdose by reversing the effects of opioids on the opioid receptors in the brain. Flumazenil Used to treat benzodiazepine overdose by reversing the sedative effects of benzodiazepines on the benzodiazepine receptors in the brain. Atropine Used to treat poisoning by cholinesterase inhibitors such as organophosphate insecticides by blocking the action of acetylcholine on muscarinic receptors. Enzyme inhibition Enzyme inhibitors works by preventing the enzyme that normally breaks down the toxic substance from doing its job. By inhibiting the enzyme, the toxic substance is unable to be broken down and eliminated from the body. As a result, the toxic substance is not able to exert its harmful effects, and the body has time to eliminate the substance through other means. Examples of enzyme inhibitors include Acetylcysteine Used to treat acetaminophen, paracetamol, overdose. It works by replenishing the body's stores of a substance called glutathione, which is important in detoxifying the toxic metabolite. By replenishing glutathione, acetylcysteine can help to prevent or reduce liver damage caused by the toxic metabolite of acetaminophen. Physostigmine Used to treat poisoning by anticholinergic agents such as atropine or diphenhydromine by inhibiting acetylcholinesterase, the enzyme that degrades acetylcholine. Physiological antagonism Physiological antagonism involves counteracting the toxic effects of the substance by using a substance with opposite physiological effects. Examples of physiological antagonists include Glucagon Used to treat beta-blocker overdose by counteracting the effects of beta-blockers on the heart and increasing blood glucose levels. Calcium Used to treat calcium channel blocker overdose by counteracting the effects of calcium channel blockers on the heart and blood vessels. Substrate replacement Substrate replacement involves replacing the toxic substrate with a less toxic one, which can be metabolized and eliminated from the body. Examples of substrate replacement include Cyanide antidotes, such as hydroxocobalamin or sodium thiosulfate. Used to treat cyanide poisoning by providing an alternate substrate for the enzyme that detoxifies cyanide, thus reducing the amount of free cyanide in the body. Neutralization Neutralization involves reacting with the toxic substance to form a non-toxic compound. Examples of neutralizing agents include Sodium bicarbonate Used to treat acidosis caused by poisoning with drugs that produce acidic metabolites, such as salicylates or methanol. Antivenoms Used to treat envenomation by venomous animals by neutralizing the toxins in the venom. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give us a like. Subscribe for more videos and also share with all your pharma mates. Thank you.